What's going on guys, R9 here, and as you can see we got another build video. For this build, uh, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to actually kind of estimate what the uh, system requirements are going to be for the uh, new game Titanfall. Uh, everybody's probably heard of Titanfall, it's only going to be on PC and Xbox. It's not going to be on the PlayStation, so there's going to be some PlayStation guys that are going to want to play it, but they don't want to buy an Xbox for that. So they're going to want to play it on the PC. And I think it's going to be an actually a pretty high-end game. I think it's going to be close to Battlefield 4, if not uh, higher. Um, I think you're going to have to have a quad-core CPU, at least 6 gigs of RAM. And your graphics card is going to have to be at least a uh 650 or higher a gtx 650 or higher um i think that it's going to be pretty pretty demanding so yeah let's just jump in uh for the cpu i went with the uh intel core i5 4670k haswell 3.4 gigahertz it's unlocked you can overclock it uh, i'll get into that later um but it's it's a quad core cpu it's going to be really good for gaming it's really fast and it's intel so yeah for the motherboard I went with the MSI Gaming Z87 G43. Um, it's a really high-end motherboard. It's a gaming edition motherboard. Uh, you can have multiple graphics cards. It's got the heat sink so it won't get hot on the uh, caps and everything. Um, it's, it's really quick. It, it has four RAM slots. <clears throat> it holds really quick RAM. Sorry, it's not really quick. It's a motherboard. Um, it holds quick RAM at 3000 megahertz. Uh, times four, I think it holds up to 64 gigs, if I'm not mistaken. But you can have multiple graphics cards. It's just really high-end motherboard. Uh, for the RAM, um, this is not the RAM I would go with. This is to show that RAM is too freaking expensive. It's only 1333 megahertz, and it's $75. You guys can find better RAM than this. Um, I, th I just picked this because I think you're going to need at least six gigs, and this is an eight gig kit. Um, find faster RAM. You're going to need faster RAM. This isn't going to do very well. Uh, this was just to show you guys that RAM's way too expensive. Uh, for the graphics card, I went with the GTX 780. No, I don't think you're going to need a 780, but I think that you're going to need at least a 2 gig graphics card. Um, and you can get that. I have a GTX 660, it's 2 gigs. But I think to optimize this game, to run it at its full potential, you're going to want a higher-end graphics card. That's why I went with the 780 on this build. Uh, it's it's a really good graphics card. It's MSI. I'm, I'm kind of an MSI fanboy. You guys can go with the EVGA, whatever you want. But yeah, this is a really good graphics card for the money right now. Uh, for the storage, this is just a storage drive. It's a terabyte, Western Digital Blue, something. Just storage. You, it's nothing but storage. Uh, for the boot drive, I went with the Adata XPG SX900. This is actually a really, really, really good uh, SATA. Or, well, not, yeah, SATA, solid state drive. Um, it's 128 gigs. Adata is doing some really good things right now. Go check out their RAM. It's a little bit more expensive, but you can overclock it and it runs really, really well. Um, Jay's Two Cents actually did a thing about overclocking the A-Data RAM, and he got a 1600 megahertz all the way up to, I think, 2300. It was running really quick, and it was it didn't overheat or anything. Uh, I actually threw in a CPU cooler because it is the unlocked i5, and you're going to want to cool it, so I went with the uh, Evo 212, the uh, Cooler Master. It's probably the best cooler on the market right now. That's why I went with that one. Uh, for the power supply, is fully modular. Uh, it's a Tesla R2 800 gold rated power supply. Um, SLI ready. Any All the power you're ever going to need right there. And it's modular, so if you want to add more stuff, it, you just plug in more cables. So yeah, it's fairly cheap too it, for a modular 800 watt. And for the case, the final piece of our build... Well, besides the operating system, I went with the Fractal Design Define R4. It is the Window Titanium Gray Silent Edition. This is going to be one of the quietest cases. The fans on it are almost silent. Uh, it's got noise dampening in it, and it has really good airflow. It's a really good looking case. 
it has good airflow and you got that window on the side so you can see that motherboard uh, GPU combo it's a really good case I recommend this to just about everybody yeah uh, it's running at about 1500 bucks for this build no I don't believe you're gonna need a $1500 build just to play Titanfall you can play it on a laptop that has a GT 635M probably with an i7 like like I have it was a $600 laptop it was uh, open box but yeah it was, it's originally like 1300 but uh, you can run it on a, a decent laptop you can run it on a desktop with a uh, 7850 a 2 gig 7850 you could probably run it on that uh, I just think you're gonna need a little bit higher than what the Call of Duties need this is gonna be a bigger game it's gonna have more things in it it's gonna be prettier um, but yeah if you wanna play uh, Titanfall you're gonna need a better PC than integrated graphics I know that so yeah that's about it for now guys uh, 